Hello YouTube, this is Josh from Instinct Design and today I'm going to be doing a basic brush tutorial to show you how to use the standard brushes um, such as extruding um, and just cutting into shapes really because I've had some requests and didn't properly cover that in my last video. So we're going to start by going into load tool. You should have some preset tools, for example you should have a demo head. So click on that, draw it out and if you want to sort of center it off, hold shift as you're drawing it out and then press T to send it into its ed editable form. Okay, so a quick explanation. Um, you have a varied range of tools here, um, including the standard tool, which is your basic for sort of drawing on objects and cutting away stuff like that. You've got your move tool, which is another big one, where you obviously uh, it does what it says. You can click on an area and just sort of stretch it out, drag it around, do whatever you want really. Um, and you have all sorts of other very tool, very tools where it's sort of for example the displace it brings it either straight out or straight in quite simple um, these ones it just add different patterns on you've got your smooth tools a shortcut for the smooth tool by the way is shift so you don't have to keep on selecting smooth tool because that will get quite annoying um, another one which does come in handy is the I think it's the inflate tool that's quite good if an area is like you don't want to sort of have to keep dragging it out but you just want the general area to sort of blow out a little bit you can use that and then with the trim dynamic um, it's pretty useful if you want to sort of flat off surfaces. So we're going to start off with the standard brush and now I'm going to talk through the settings of the brush with you. So at the very top we've got things like intensity, we've got draw size and focal shift. Intensity is basically the sort of how strong you want it to extrude or subtract. Um, a little shortcut for subtracting by the way guys is if you hold alt you can cut into something if you let go it's again subtracting out or you can change it from Z add which adds on top of the surface and sub which cuts below it so I'm going to sort of bring the draw size down slightly so obviously I don't have a massive thing coming out there um, change the intensity say we'll keep it around 25 and the fo what the focal shift does is it sort of changes the blend so rather than it being a really harsh thing sticking out if it's got a very small focal shift it sort of blends a lot easier rather than it being a sharp shape that's sticking out. So we draw straight on. As you can see, <laughs> it's drawing on. Nothing fancy I'm doing here, just sort of showing you the basics. Um, so that's with the add. Hold Alt, go subtract, sort of cut into it, give some sort of crazy looking eyes. Oh, that is very nice. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the basics of using that, guys. Um, so again, the shortcuts are Alt. And if you want to smooth something off, guys, if you hold shift, you can start shifting and smoothing it off here. Another one you can use is in the stroke palette, you have different options. Now, these come in handy for sort of more to do with sort of texturing the skin um, and things like that. For example, um, obviously the dots, it <laughs> draws stuff in dots for your hand. It's again sort of cutting in wherever you want to cut in. Um, but this works best with an alpha. And um, what an alpha is, is it's a texture that sort of cuts into the material. So, what I mean by this is, say, like I want alpha 58, right? And I'll bring my draw size up a little bit. And I go like that, boom, it draws some massive lines straight across the object. Um, obviously, if it's low poly, it's going to look a bit dodgy like this at the moment. Um, and for this instance, I think I'm going to bump up the poly just a little bit more. There you go, so it's a bit smoother, so you can see nice smooth cut. And again, as you, as I said in my last tutorial, the symmetry is on. So if you want to turn it off, you press X on the keyboard, you can cut straight across. If you want to keep symmetry on, it will draw wherever you draw, which is quite funky. And again, shift to smooth it all off again. So, um, Linking this back to the stroke, um, for example, if I want to have like, you know, sort of a, a skin texture on this on this character, um, I'll select probably an alpha like this, or yeah, stick this alpha here, um, and go into a, a spray or a color spray. You're not coloring it in, don't worry. <laughs> it's just a texture spray, and as you can see, you draw it over and it randomly sprays it out. So it's just quite nice for creating lizards and things like that. And at some point in the next few tutorials, you will see a lizard character uh, I have designed. And I've, again, I've used this sort of process to sort of, you know, 
colour it in and give it some nice textures and that looks really freaky character. <laughs> yeah. So that's the basics of the brushes. Um and I can show you some more if you want. So uh, when I was talking about the move tool, go on to move. I want to move his eyeballs or his eye sockets quite far out. There you go, straight out, give him a big crazy stretch face. Really weird orangutan kind of thing there going on. <laughs> right. And then let's have a little bit look at some of the other ones to use. Um, yeah, inflate, one of the ones I did mention. Sort of use that, blow it up. Now he's got some crazy orangutan football face. And then we can go on to using Trim Dynamic, which is like a flattening tool. And I want to sort of flatten it off there. I don't know, give him a bit of a dent there. Give him a little dent there in the middle of his nose. Is and all. Okay. So <laughs> you get the picture, guys. It's pretty simple. Uh, very self explanatory, but. I thought I'd just clarify this because some people are still a little bit confused uh, in my last tutorial. Um, and if you find editing difficult in this colour, uh, it is changeable. If you go into the material here, you have a wide range of anything you want. You can have some nice, cool, crazy chrome stuff, which I would not want to model in because that drives me nuts. Um, I quite like modelling in this white cap because it's you can see a lot more tones. Um, and then for sort of rendering, it's quite nice in a sort of clay because it looks looks realistic. So, this is the basic tutorial on brushes. Um, again, I will be bringing out more tutorials to do with uh, ZBrush. Um, also with 3ds Max, things like that. Um, I'm going to be doing anatomy study soon, which I'm currently working on, so I do hope you like that. Um, so, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe and leave comments. Thanks for watching.